Now, a question that often comes up when it comes to dealing with services is, um, how do I provide user feedback? And an important thing to remember is that you probably shouldn't be providing a whole lot of user feedback, right? in the sense that the user in general is, is not really thinking a lot about the services. Right? That if it's a service that they somehow interact directly with, they're probably already somewhat aware of that, and we'll talk about that more in a minute. Uh, but in other cases, it's the service itself is just kind of back there doing some job on the user's behalf. So we don't want to be doing a whole lot of interaction with them. Now, one of the common mistakes that often comes up is that when someone does want to provide feedback to the user, they try to have the service interact directly with the activity class, you know, particularly the activity class that launched it. Um, you don't want to do that. Uh, it's not really safe to try to interact with an activity class from outside of it. Um, the framework itself will often destroy activities and recreate them. In fact, anytime the user does anything to the device that modifies the environment, and that includes just rotating the screen, sliding out a keyboard, the framework itself will actually dis delete that activity and create a new one. So that creates a lot of challenges when you try to interact with it from a background service. So in general, we don't want to do that. When we do need to interact with the user, the thing we want to do is utilize classes that are meant for that. Um, toast messages are a good way for that, right? There's little windows that float up, as well as using the notification classes. Now, when it comes to using toast messages, right, they are a really good way to provide some information to the user, right? Because they're really not intrusive. They just kind of float a little message somewhere on the screen. It doesn't take the focus away from what they're doing. Um, so they work really well when you do need to interact with the user, or at least provide some information to the user. The thing you want to be careful of, though, is that whenever you want to use the Toast class, the Toast class doesn't necessarily have to be used on the user interface thread, but it has to be used on a thread that has a looper, right? In other words, a thread that's created as a handler thread, something that has a message pump. Right? So what that means is that if you're doing um, just a straight background uh, service using a thread pool, now there's a good chance when you try to use those Toast methods, it's going to fail. So what we need to do is either be running on some thread that already has a handler, or we need to tap into one somehow. Um, and a couple ways you can do that. One way is to go ahead and explicitly create a handler thread. If you think about our demo, when we created that uh, background code to actually monitor the GPS for us, we created our own handler thread there. Another thing that's easy to do, though, is that as long as you have a reference to your application's context, you can always go out there and just get the looper that's taking care of the main UI thread and just kind of grab that guy and then pass handler, uh, excuse me, pass handler events off to that. 